like you this point. The gown. The gown. The gown. The gown was created for me by Susan Parkinson. The gorgeous strawberry blonde sitting there in her own beautiful little black dress. Who I, I met at the pub one night through Jim Murray, old friend Jim Murray's, and I, she said something about making dresses, and I said, Susan, I need a gown. I need a gown for a concert. And anyway, uh, we've been working on the gown. She's been working on the gown, put a lot of time into the gown. And uh, this is the gown, and it has flounces on the bottom. I think women would like to come have a good look later, or the guys, for that matter. Um, it is an amazing gown. It's a gown I will wear for the rest of my life, and I thank Susan from the bottom of my heart for the gown and for the concept, as she called this hat. It's just a concept. She's got an English accent. It's just a concept. And the day she called me when the gown was all set to go, there was this lovely message going, Diane, it's Susan Parkinson, 382, da 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 Your gown is ready. <laughs> and it was like, honestly, I saved the message because it was like, it was like Norman Hartnell calling the Queen personally. Your gown is ready. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I have it. I've saved it forever. It's going on my website. Once I make the house sponsored website. Anyway, thank you to Susan for that. Um, uh, Edith Piaf, Edith Piaf, the little sparrow. Oh, ha, 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 eh? I mean, what a woman, what a woman. And a lot of these women had not easy lives, and certainly she was born in a brothel. It never should have happened for her, and she was amazing and died at 41. Um, this is the song, her second husband, who was the love of her life, Maurice Serdin. He was a wrestler, a boxer, French, um, and he was killed in a plane crash coming back from some match somewhere. And she was opening in Paris that night in a big club, and everybody knew she was opening. And uh, she went on anyway. And this was the first song that she sang. And you can imagine how the uh, crowd responded to this one. Oh, shit. 